Hey y'all, Coach in the Fight here. Looking at the correlation between the word of the Lord that came to Zechariah in chapter 7 and the 11th month and where we are today. We're going to look at a few scriptures, but what we're going to find is that that word of the Lord that came to Zechariah concerning fraying the horns that scattered us. This all occurred two years before the sabbatical year, back in the year 422, four years before the temple was constructed. Well, when we look at our current timeline, this is exactly where we are. Could 2022 be the year of the fraying of the Gentiles? Only scripture knows. Stay tuned. All right, so now the first time we see the 11th month, he says, and it came to pass in the 40th year, in the 11th month, on the first day of the month, that Moses spake unto the children of Israel, according unto all that the Lord had given him in commandment unto them. So this right here is talking about the covenant. They call it the second covenant. That's what Deuteronomy means, something like second law. Um, that's at the end, after the 40th year, after they, after they had came out of uh, the wilderness. They had been in the wilderness for 40 years up until this day right here. It's the first day of the month. Uh, this was the 11th month. This was the new moon of the 11th month. First Chronicles is just a general statement about the captain of the 11th month of the children of Ephraim. And that's interesting right there, the children of Ephraim. Ephraim was in the eleventh month. Um, we can do a whole nother class on that. If 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 you wanna help us with that class, go ahead and tell them about Ephraim down in the uh, comment section. Um, we'll check those before we do the class. And in his course were twenty and four thousand. So you got twenty four thousand, twelve thousand two. But the one we wanted to look at here was Zechariah chapter one. Give it all credit and praise to our Father in heaven. Hallowed be His name. Uh, Father Abba for blessing us with all knowledge, wisdom, and understanding by way of his word. Um, as well as inspiration, dreams, uh, conscience, and intuition. Zechariah 1 and 7 says, Upon the 4 and 24th day of the 11th month, which is the month Sebat, in the second year of Darius, came the word of the Lord unto Zechariah, the son of Barachiah, the son of Edo, the prophet, saying. So you have this guy in the 11th month. That's this month. But he's on the 24th day of this month. So now we did a calendar. So let's go look at the calendar. Now, these calendars don't really work. Our father's calendar is the stars, the moon, and the sun all together. You had two of them, or all three of them uniting right there on February the 2nd. Now, like I said, you guys always check my work, but down here in, it looks like February the 26th is when we're talking about uh, Zechariah uh, 1 and 7. Now, first thing I want to do is see what happens on February the 26th. So on the 26th, it's the Producers Guild of America, PG. So they're having the awards on the 26th which would be this day we're talking about. So everybody will be watching television. But anyway, what we were looking at is how he's talking about the second year of King Darius. Now, if you want to see what they're going to say, let's jump down there just for grins and giggles because that was interesting too. Matter of fact, let's hear it. Upon the four and twentieth day of the eleventh month, which is the month Sebat, in the second year of Darius, came the word of the Lord unto Zechariah, the son of Berechiah, the son of Iddo, the prophet, saying, I saw by night, and behold, a man riding upon a red horse. And he stood among the myrtle trees that were in the bottom, and behind him were their red horses, speckled and white. Then said I, O oh my Lord, what are these? And the angel that talked with me said unto me, I will show thee what these be. And the man that stood among the myrtle trees answered and said, 
These are they whom the Lord hath sent to walk to and fro through the earth. And they answered the angel of the Lord that stood among the myrtle trees and said, We have walked to and fro through the earth, and behold, all the earth sitteth still and is at rest. Then the angel of the Lord answered and said, O Lord of hosts, how long wilt thou not have mercy on Jerusalem and on the cities of Judah, against which thou hast had indignation these threescore and ten years? And the Lord answered the angel that talked with me, with good words and comfortable words. So the angel that communed with me said unto me, Cry thou, saying, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, I am jealous for Jerusalem and for Zion with a great jealousy, and I am very sore displeased with the heathen that are at ease. For I was but a little displeased, and they helped forward the affliction. Therefore thus saith the Lord, I am returned to Jerusalem with mercies. My house shall be built in it, saith the Lord of hosts, and a line shall be stretched forth upon Jerusalem. Cry yet, saying, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, My cities through prosperity shall yet be spread abroad, and the Lord shall yet comfort Zion, and shall yet choose Jerusalem. Then lifted I up mine eyes, and saw, and behold, four horns. And I said unto the angel that talked with me, What be these? And he answered me, These are the horns which have scattered Judah, Israel, and Jerusalem. And the Lord showed me four carpenters. Then said I, What come these to do? And he spake, saying, These are the horns which have scattered Judah, so that no man did lift up his head. But these are come to fray them, to cast out the horns of the Gentiles, which lifted up their horn over the land of Judah to scatter it. So on the 4 and 20th day of the month, the 11th month, two years, in the, se in the second year, the word of the Lord came to Zechariah. This is Zechariah chapter 1. But the thing about it, this falls during this year according to the timeline. If you will read Ezra chapter 4 verse 24. Then ceased the work of the house of God which is at Jerusalem. So it ceased until the second year of the reign of Darius king of Persia. So they had stopped them from working. Now they're about to let them go to work again in the second year. Mm -hmm. Okay, and it'll tell you the month and other places, and that's the year that we're actually talking about. But read Ezra chapter 6, verse 15. And this house was finished on the third day of the month Adar, which was in the sixth year of the reign of Darius the king. So that's when the house was finished. Mm -hmm. Now, there's a lot of confusion on this, and we've done a, a lot of classes on this because people have been trying to figure out that news 2300 days. Mm -hmm. Then I heard one saint speaking, and another saint said unto the certain saint which spoke, How long shall the vision concerning the daily sacrifice and the transgression of desolation to give both the sanctuary and the host to be trodden underfoot? All right, now this is the book we got. Mm -hmm. okay. And so a lot of people were coming to this Darius back here, mm -hmm. which is the time around, you know, way back then. But the way our father helped me to understand it was, was this Darius here. This one they call a weak bastard. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah. And so he started his reign in uh, 424 BC. Mm -hmm. Right. And so then when you start to calculate in his sixth year from there, you end up in 417. Okay. The early part of 417 being the date. Now, this may be the first time you heard of this. And, like, if it's not, you know, you guys let me know because I, I don't mind being secondary confirmation. I can play second fiddle if I know how to play a fiddle. So, when you look here, negative uh, 424, and then you're going to go six years because you see right there where it says it is six year. Mm -hmm. Now, that almost gets you there. But what you have to understand, okay, is that it was finished in the third day of the month Adar. Mm -hmm. Hadar is the 12th month. Mm -hmm. So they finished the temple in the 12th month. When did they dedicate it? They dedicated it in Passover the next year. Mm -hmm. The Father's sacred year would have started in the spring, right? Mm -hmm. So they would have, you know, gained another year as far as we're concerned. Mm -hmm. So there would be another year that you would add. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. I ain't trying to pull nothing on you now.
This right here is where it started in the 14th day of the first month. Right. So that's the next year. Mm -hmm. Now, the reason why this was so important to me, a lot of you guys missed that video, was because this is how I got confirmation of the third testing. Mm -hmm. One of the viewers said, you know, if the third testing is true, you should be able to prove it. And you remember that video where we took his thing and proved it like how many different ways, mm -hmm. four different ways. Mm -hmm. Um, um, and this was one of them. When we look at these numbers here, understanding how we got the 417, like I said, I'm not trying to pull anything on you. Um, we, we just basically looking at this book. I have this same book on my shelf. Where you get that book from, Steve? Um, the store. Yeah, they got one and then got the other one. We got the, um, the biblical one and the non-biblical. But anyway, they both say the same thing. That in 424, this Darius II, uh, Nothus, he um, took his reign. And then when we come over to the scripture and look at how this Darius um, finished the temple in his uh, sixth year, but actually had first passed over in the seventh year, we get to 417 B.C. But then remembering these numbers that we talked about over here with Daniel, mm -hmm. look what happens when you add 2,300 years. Okay. Plus one, because there was no year zero. You end up in the year 1884. 1884. Yeah. You end up in 1884. And you say, well, what's important about that date? Mm -hmm. um, it's down here in chapter two. Start right there at verse five. Okay. Do you remember that cloud in which my disciples saw me in sin to the last time that I manifested myself to them? In truth, it was written that I would come again in a cloud, and this I have fulfilled. On the first day of September, 1866, my spirit came in a symbolic cloud to prepare you to receive the new lesson. Later in 1884, I began to give you my teachings. That's the year this book came. Mm -hmm. So you go back over here, 2300 years later from the completion of the second temple mm -hmm. until this book comes for the third temple. Right. And we did in another video, Chris and I, you know, we discovered scripture that tells us how long this uh, half hour of darkness, half hour of silence is that we read about over in Revelation chapter eight, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, it works out to be 50 years. So anyway, that's supposed to be 10 because we're going to the beginning of the second year, taking us to 417. But that is when the temple was completed. So we have to back up, right? Mm -hmm. So I had two years. So we start off with 424. And then we add two more years. That takes us to 422. Mm -hmm. That would have been the second year of his reign. And that's what he would have got the message in the year 422. The thing about that year is it was actually two years before the sabbatical year. Okay. And so that's where we're at now. Two years before the sabbatical. Well, the sabbatical year starts in the year 2023. I mean, based on this jubilee year, we can, we can get there. We just have to make sure we add a year zero. See, there's the next sabbatical year. This is based on the sabbatical year. We have to remember. And so when we come exactly this many uh, times, one time in one jubilee year, that means that the sabbatical year starts 2023. And if you ever hear me say 2022, it's because I forgot to add the year zero. Simple as that. Okay. So this is where we're at now. As far as this word of the Lord that came to Zechariah in the 24th day of the 11th month. Mm -hmm. And the thing about it, you know, we went through all of this. We actually read you know, through all of here. And what it boils down to is down here in this last verse. Did you, you, did you read that already? Mm -hmm. Go ahead and read that. And the Lord showed me four carpenters. Then said I, what come these to do? And he spoke saying, these are the horns which have scattered Judah, so that no man did lift up his head. But these are come to fray them, to cast out the horns of the Gentiles, 
which lifted up their horns over the land of Judah to scatter it. Yeah, you know, two years before. I don't know. You know, I'm just a numbers man. You know, but well, I would be interested in what is framing or oh, unravel. So he's come, come to unravel it. This other verse we'll close out with it is extremely important too. See where it's talking about these 70 years. Mm -hmm. Then the angel of the Lord answered and said, O Lord of hosts, how long would thou not have mercy on Jerusalem and on the cities of Judah against which thou hast had indignation these three score and ten years? Hi, right, um, should we talk about when that is? <laughs> we'll save it for the next video. Yeah, we'll save it. <laughs> Like I said, I'm a numbers man. Uh, with that, I'm going to say slow. Slow.